Alright, well, I can't fix the sound, so let's hope it's not as loud as I think. Anyways, in this video, I want to show you how you can make a door for, let's say, a video game with Photoshop CS3. Anyways, go away. Alright, so anyways, you wanna have a door shape, obviously. The height we'll say is 512, the width 256, half of that. Nice standard door shape. Now, you wanna make other layers of this button down here. And you wanna get the paint tool. Choose a color that you want your door to mainly be, and for this one I will use gray, because I'm thinking of kind of like a rusted metal door. Then you get the eraser tool, go all the way down to this tool right here. You can use other ones, but this is my favorite, I find it to be the most effective. Change the opacity about, I will say, 13%. Make my brush slightly bigger. You don't have to, it's just I'm more comfortable with it. And you just click and just keep clicking and move in random directions. Makes it look, it gives it a better look. Alright, now that you've done it once, go to your second layer. Get, get the bucket again. Now, uh, again, pick a color you want to use. Um, I will use a, I would use red because I want to make it look like rust on my door and change the opacity about twice as much so about 26 to 28 percent and do the same thing but you want to get for the second layer you want to get as much of it off as you possibly can without without erasing all of it you know if that makes sense So just try to get a lot off. Get the edges, the edges make it look bad if you don't get it off. And keep going, keep going. And there we go. Now I'm gonna leave it at that because I want to make a basic door, simple. Now. When I'm satisfied with what my door would look like right now, we're going to make the handle. And you can do it many ways, but this way I will show you just how to take the brush. Simple stuff. Now, I'll use gray because the door is gray. Make like a little handle. Whatever. Now, I know that looks bad. <laughs> just give it a chance. You want to right click on the layer your door handle is go to blending options now you can just toy with these options for a little bit but I use level or bevel and emboss a lot it's a main thing especially for making the handle and then I use contour and you have a pretty decent looking handle coming out of this you can mess with the shadow right here inner shadow I like the adder but the drop shadow is basically if you think you like it or not you can mess with all the options obviously not many of these look good so you wanna for this situation you wanna stick with uh, the inner bevel change the debt if you want and I am satisfied with that now see this is really basic you can add the designs if you want like hold shift so you have a straight line you can make it look as good as you can actually that would be bad right here you want a new layer for that hold shift make a dots now I'm kinda rushing this so don't mind me and yeah they're not straight so it's not gonna look that great and I probably put way too many but that's okay it's just a test run to show you. Check it out. Back to Bevel and Emboss. You can leave it like that, or you click on the name itself. 
Go to Pedal Emboss. I like that because it looks like it's inwards more. Contour. In this situation, does not much. Change the depth. I like making it look pretty good to me. Inner shadows. Or take it off. Doesn't matter. Just play around with the tools if you want. There's not much to it. And that is how you would make a basic door for uh, video game design. Thank you.